Well, regardless of what Kentucky does on Saturday against Missouri, I think they're going to have their, their hands full. Let's take a look at the Missouri passing game. Here they are against a uh, cover zero look. Notice the uh, middle of the field is open. Nobody there. The uh, eight men are pretty much in the box. Uh, we've got this overhang defender over here that's hanging out close to the box and uh, this overhang here so the quarterback's going to read cover zero and is going to be looking uh, for this danger man right here. If he can get his hips turned he's going to put the ball uh, into the middle of the field where he's got, uh, got the clear out. So that's what they're looking at when you go with cover zero you want to get the ball in the middle of the field. Now here's your here's your slot back that's uh, going to try to get there now notice the quarterback at this point has already made up his mind he's going to throw the football. Uh, the defender's hips are facing the sideline. He knows his receiver is going to be breaking into that area. This tube, as I like to call it. So he's going to plant that back foot and let it go. Uh, no chance that this safety here, who's out leveraged, will be able to get over top of it uh, and intercept the ball. And then he's got it beat. Quarterback knows the ball is going. That's how you have to throw the football to uh, to beat cover zero and. Throw it on rhythm, trust your arm, get the ball into the tight hallway. Now Vandy decided that uh, cover zero wasn't the way to go, so maybe they'll try a little cover three. Now where are you going to work cover three at is down these areas here, uh, and then into your hook curl zones here is where you're going to be looking to Your cover three coverage. Again, notice that the uh, quarterback is throwing the ball on rhythm. There's no happy feet. Uh, he's hitting, letting the ball loose, knowing that his receiver is open because of the leverage he's got on him. Here's where the throw is going. Notice the receiver has got the uh, defender stacked. He's not going to let him get back inside of him. Uh, he got the inside leverage with that defensive back can't allow happen. And then he just stacked him. He just wouldn't let him come back over, kind of like a uh, moving screen in basketball. So that's, uh, that's how Missouri beat cover three with a single safety. Could have been uh, cover one as well. Couldn't really tell if he was in man coverage across, but in any case, one safety. Now uh, we're going to work two safeties. And where you want to, uh, to work the two safeties is between the corner and the safety. So you're going to have a little small window in there uh, on both sides. They look like they're in a true cover two. Several ways you can do that. Uh, in this instance, what this, what they've done, is this outside receiver is going to get downfield, and the corner's job is to uh, really not let him get outside of him because if he gets outside, it creates a long run for this safety to get back to. But uh, notice the inside, slightly inside release. Nice fight to get outside. Corner actually does a good job keeping him to the inside. But the safety can't get there in time. And the catch is made. Notice again how the quarterback has got the what I like to call throwing on rhythm. He's going to get pre-snap. He sees cover two pre-snap. 
So that means to him that this tube is going to be open. So the only thing he's got to worry about is whether this receiver can beat this man and whether this danger player can get over to it. So on his drop, he already knows whether the ball is being thrown. If the corner has dropped back and created that window too small where he can't get into it, then the quarterback will hitch up and throw it to uh, his second receiver. If the window is open at his drop, he's going to let the ball go. And that's what they, that's what they do here. Notice he steps and lets it go. There's no hesitation. There's nothing to wait for. He lets the ball go. Uh, when he let the ball go, the receiver is at the uh, 25. He catches it at the uh, at the goal line. Uh, that's just something that the uh, UK quarterbacks don't don't have yet. Now another way to beat uh, cover two is with this the old trusty smash route. Uh, what you'll have here is uh, the uh, outside receiver. It's just going to run a little hitch, a delay, whatever you want. Just something to stay low. Then the inside receiver is going to run a uh, corner route, get uh, get leverage on the uh, skiff player, and then outrun the safety to the corner. It's a uh, it's as old as football itself. There you go. There's your. Uh, Here's your inside guy, I mean your outside guy running the short hitch. Here's your slot, he's going to run a corner. And again, the throw is already made. It's already made. He can see that the safety is not going to be able to get to the back side of that receiver to do any harm. And obviously he must have a, a outside leverage on the, on the skiff player. Because uh, the ball is already already let go, no happy feet, nothing, no delay. Boom, the ball's gone, and he's going to outrun the uh, outrun the safety over the top of the corner. Touchdown. That's how you beat cover two. Now this is a uh, this is just your country cover three, South Carolina. Uh, laying back thinking they're probably going to see a run. So what are you going to do? You're just going to send uh, a little small post route behind the linebacker in front of the safety. There's your linebacker. There's your safety. Oh, I'm sorry. That was our that was our receiver. There's our corner. There's our safety. Easy enough. Just your basic cover three. They ran a post route into it and hit it. Uh, if you get lazy, these guys will just they're just going to destroy us. Uh, that that scares me to to no end. Uh, that might be DGB. I'm not sure, but he's uh, he's better than than we have, and even with mock or the uh, Franklin throwing the football. I think they'll uh, they're good enough on rhythm to to get it done. Now here's a uh, here's just a play action. They run a good good job of uh, doing inside zone runs. Here's just a uh, gonna fake the inside zone here, and we're gonna let the uh, tight end just slide on out. Right here he is. So they, I'll post up some other clips of them uh, running their inside and outside zone, which makes this this play so deadly uh, because they do a good job of their zone read. And now the uh, the final way that uh, I tried to play. This was just with uh, four, one, two, three, four. Play cover four, so they'll 
Missouri just uh, uses their quick passing game, throws it out, makes a perimeter block, and uh, off to the races they go. Tough to defend. Uh, Vandy tried it. Florida tried it. Uh, South Carolina actually did a fairly fairly good job uh, in the second half of putting the stops on them. That's the um, that's Missouri passing game uh, against all coverages.